Hi, I am Shom Prakash Rai, and today I am going to start the Core Java class. So this is the first class of Core Java. Today in this class, we will discuss how to write the program. What is the platform independency? What is the different small small terminologies which we are using in the case of Core Java, like byte code, source code, native code, and all other details of the Core Java initially, like uh, what is the JVM, what is JRE, and many other things, including what all new things which has been introduced in the case of JDK 1.9 also. That also I am going to discuss. The very first thing is when we start Java. So I want to ask one question from all of you. Like why you are giving a preference to learn the Java? Why you are learning the Java? That is the first question. Right? The first question is why you wanted to learn the Java? That is my very, very first question. Now, in order to do this or in order to get this question, why you are learning the Java, you may say that it follows the OOPS concept. It is platform independent, secured and many a number of options. So let's start it by the platform independency concept, like how Java is platform independent with compared to the C or other programming languages, which is dependent or platform independent, platform dependent languages, right? So Java is a platform independent language, whereas C, which is there is the platform dependent language. So our point of discussion today is to start with the C and Java. When I am saying that we are going to start with the C or some other programming language, it does not mean that in order to learn Java, you must have to understand C. If you know the C, it's well and good. But if you don't know C, then also it is not mandatory that you uh, you need to learn C before learning the Java. So those whoever is sitting here, don't worry about whether you know C or you don't know the C. Whether you know C, you are you might be from the different different backgrounds like EC or but obvious if you are from the CS, so you must be knowing this uh, C or other programming languages. Even if you don't know or if you are from some other BTEC backgrounds, MCA or some other thing and you don't have any C knowledge because many university courses, many university curriculums, they haven't introduced in C in each in initial syllabus in the different branches. So well, if you know it well and good, if you don't know, then also there is no issue. I'll be giving you the basic information about the C also which is required in order to learn the Java, right? It is so I'm just going to give you the complete informations, whatever is required in order to learn the Java. Let's talk about when, as we say that any programming languages, whenever we talk about in that case, now we first used to choose one platform, what we are choosing one platform we are choosing. This is what one platform I'm taking. If I wanted, to, if I'm saying here a platform, then what is the meaning of platform? Platform in the sense is, let's say it is your operating system. So here, mostly we are using Windows operating system. It's a Windows operating system, Windows OS. We wanted to use it here. Why I'm taking the example of Windows operating system? Because most of you are well aware or well used to with the windows operating system. So that's the reason I'm taking the windows operating system. Well, now let's have a look on this. So whenever any program as such you are writing or any program when you are writing in the case of C programming language, well, first that program which is there must be saved with the dot C extension. So here, if I am writing the program here, so that program I'm saving it by the hello.c extension. What, what, uh, what is the name of my program is hello.c extension by this name, I'm saving this program, right? Next now here before this also, or in, before writing any kind of program, first of all, you need to make your system ready to write the programs, right? 
so that your system can compile your program or you can compile that program so in order to do that first you need to install a corresponding software which we will call like the in C we will call it as in C compiler we softwares which is there we need to install it here so which is uh, most popular one you can say that is the turbo C which we are using here that software is easily available on internet you can use it you can install it in your system and then accordingly you can uh, test it if required right mostly if you know it it's well and good if you don't know you can check it out like this right so I was coming in the point like if you have or if you are writing any kind of C program so this is the way what you can write a C program or dot C extensions you have written after writing this program what next you are going to do is you will compile this program right once you are compiling this program so uh, what exactly you are going to do while compilation of any program right so the very first thing which as I am saying is what we do at the time of compilation of a program the very first thing what I am going to do at the time of compilation of a program is checks the checks the syntax I'm checking the syntax of that language second important point is now the second important point it when I'm saying checking the syntax of the language means for every programming language there is some set of grammars which has been defined by the technology provider so that set of grammars you must have to remember while writing that program if you do not remember and if you don't follow that certain set of instructions what has to be followed while writing the program and it is not correct syntactically or grammatically you can say then it will give the compilation error compilation error means what compilation error means that there is some problem in your program which you must have to solve it which compiler is not able to understand what is compiler compiler is one person compiler is one person who is reading your program what you have written or in another form I can say the compiler is a person who is reading your source code what you have written it is checking it out that what you have written how it is how well it is whether any error whether any correction or anything is available inside that or not if anything is there so it will flag a error that please solve this problem right so that's what we will call it as an error right so if everything is fine if there is no problem in your program if there is no doubt or there is no syntactically if it is hundred percent correct if there is no sort of problem in this then it will generate what it is generating generates what it is going to generate it is generating the generates the dot exe file it is going to generate remember it so here now after the successful compilation we are going to get here the exe file which is a dot exe file we are going to get right now this dot exe file what we have we will be calling it as an native code we will call this one as an native code or in another format I can say this one as an machine code machine code previously you would have heard about the machine code what is the machine code or what is the native code understand here or listen it carefully native code means what or machine code means what machine code means the code which can communicate easily with your existing platform what is your existing platform at this time your existing platform is your windows operating system so it can means what code you have written in hello.c file is getting converted to the machine language and that machine has to be given or set of instruction is being given to the windows operating system is that okay now this windows operating system is there will 
follow that instruction set of instructions which has been given by the developer and it will give that output right this is what we will call it as a machine code now when i am saying that it is a machine code so it is but obvious that for different different machines there could be a different different machine code also which means that this exe file at present what we have is different for the windows operating system for the windows operating system it is going to be the different for some other operating system it is going to be different remember it main kya bol raha hu aap isko dhyan se suno main kya bol raha hu maine ye bola ki .exe file jo hai ye kya hai मशीन कोड है तो ये मशीन कोड हर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम के लिए हर मशीन के लिए अलग अलग होगा राइट सो इफ दिस डॉट ई फाइल इज गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम रिमेंबर इट हियर देन वन क्वेश्चन आई एम गेटिंग डाउट द क्वेश्चन इज हु इज जनरेटिंग दैट मशीन कोड द पर्सन हु इज जनरेटिंग दैट मशीन कोड also has to generate differently for the different operating system right maine kya bola ki jo machine code ko generate kar raha hai wo aadmi alag alag aadmi generate kar raha hai ya ek hi aadmi generate kar raha hai i mean to say that whoever is generating that hello.exe file which is a machine code is that the same person is generating that exe file for every machine or different different persons are generating that exe file or native code or machine code for the different different operating system right who is that person who is generating that native code the person is we will be calling it as a compiler compiler is the person who is generating this native code for the different operating system so remember that the compiler is platform dependent compiler is platform dependent it is platform 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 dependent which means that for every operating system this compiler has to be different i, I i'll repeat again for every operating system this compiler has to be different and that particular compiler knows that in that corresponding operating system what kind of machine code has to be generated फिर से मैं रिपीट कर रहा हूं कि जो कंपाइलर है हर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम के लिए अलग अलग कंपाइलर है और उसे मालूम है कि उस पर्टिकुलर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम पे जो मशीन को जनरेट करना है वो कैसे करना है ठीक क्लियर है इतना अब तो एक चीज हमने देखा कि जो ये सॉफ्टवेयर होगा लास्टली हमारा सी कंपाइलर का सॉफ्टवेयर टर्बो सी ये हर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम के लिए अलग होगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल विंडोज के लिए अलग होगा मैक के लिए अलग होगा एज वेल एज लीनेक्स एंड सम अदर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम फॉर ऑल ऑफ देम इट इज गोइंग टू हैव द डिफरेंट सो इट डिपेंड्स दैट इन विच ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम यू आर वर्किंग दैट करस्पॉन्डिंग कंपाइलर यू नीड टू डाउनलोड इट यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल इट इज दैट क्लियर नाउ सो वेन नाउ एज आई एम नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट हियर इज the concept which uh, again as i am just discussing here let's say that um, here as i am just removing it here understand it here the point what i just wanted to explain in this case here suppose now now we have a so we have a operating system called as a mac operating system we have right now on this corresponding mac operating system here if i take this .exe file here i am taking this .exe file which is hello.exe file i am taking it when i am running this program on the mac operating system whenever i am running this program so see here ab mac operating system mein अलग कंपाइलर होगा जो कि इस डॉट ईएक्सी फाइल को रीड करेगा किस लिए रन करने के लिए बट जो वो कंपाइलर है जो मैक ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम में कंपाइलर इंस्टॉल्ड है दैट कंपाइलर वोट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कोड विच यू आर माइग्रेटिंग फ्रॉम द विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम 
जो कोड को आप विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम से उस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम पे ले रहे हो दैट वोट अंडरस्टैंड सो इट वोट बी एबल टू कंपाइल इट दैट द रीजन वी आर कॉलिंग इट दैट द डॉट ई एक्सी फाइल वॉट यू हैव इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म डिपेंडेंट राइट एंड द सेम डॉट ई एक्सी फाइल वी वोट बी एबल टू यूज ऑन अदर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम राइट सो वेर एवर इन विच एवर प्लेटफॉर्म यू आर यूजिंग टू राइट एनी काइंड ऑफ जावा प्रो सॉरी सी प्रोग्राम that corresponding compiler has to be installed in that corresponding machine so that that compiler only will be able to convert that corresponding code into the machine code here i hope it is now clear right if any one of you are having any questions related to that right please do contact us right it is immediately that corresponding faculties will tell you related to that so immediately if any kind of questions you are getting from this you can immediately ask